rumor has it they're going to be letting uh, putting dead uh, like dead. Obviously, Deadpool's going to have his own movie. Yeah. As everyone knows. Yeah. Uh, so pumped. The uh, I say rumor, but it's said from the one of the is it one of the writers? Whoop, uh, the Avengers? I think no, no, no. Uh, it's the writer that they're getting in for Deadpool. Said that they might. He's going to try and structure it so if they want to put Deadpool in with the X Men films, which are also owned by Fox. Uh, it's going to work like that. Yeah, but there was also that dude from X-Men that was saying, we love the idea of having all our characters together and blah, 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 and obviously Deadpool is a big part of that. Well, they're strongly suggesting that they might put the Fantastic Four and X-Men together. Yeah. Because then... something's got to save this fucking Fantastic Four film. Something has to save it? Yeah. Really? I'm not confident. No one it's, is. Uh... It's Fantastic I just Four. think that's... A... Yeah, I mean, they've got a 20-something playing Reed Richards, who's meant to be in his... 40s. Late 30s, early 40s, yeah. He's meant to be a handsome man. Well, he is a handsome man. He's also a very smart man. So far, they can't find anyone to do this Doom character that they keep talking about. Whatever happened to Julian... <laughs> Julian McMahon. Sorry. <laughs> Lovely, uh... The video didn't fuck up. That was just nothing for a second there. Yeah, I'm... <laughs> the camera went behind a sign. Yeah, the camera just did the wall glitch. Um, they, they can get pretty much anyone to do Doctor Doom. There's like Darth Vader. If you want to change your voice later on, you can. Like, the guy who played, who was in the suit for Darth Vader... Didn't know they had James David Jones Crow. doing the voice. David Krause. Thank you, David Krause. I'm not going to listen to you, Tetra. Didn't didn't know he wasn't doing the voice. Like, he did all the lines and everything. But he didn't find out until he took his family to see the movie on opening night. Yeah. He sat down and started watching this film and, hang on, that's not my voice. Wouldn't Lucas didn't even bother to tell him, oh, yeah, by the way, your voice, you sound shit. Well, what? If you go, like, oh, we're not going to use your voice anyway, and then he's going, like, okay, I won't do the lines. Yeah. But then what do the other actors work off? Yeah. It was beneficial for him to do the lines. They were also hunting but for no. a replacement for Anthony Daniels as well as C-3PO. And from my guess, yeah. because Anthony Daniels says like, some, you know, how many people tried out for it and all that sort of shit, and he says like, um, a man tried out, and he says a man of literally a thousand voices. Um, the one that I can think of from that era that was around and that was that talented and well known was Mel Blanc. Yeah. So I was thinking it was Mel Blanc, and um, that said, you know, Anthony Daniels is. His voice syncs with everything. He's got a pretty good voice. It matches. Why not just use him? Yeah. So it was someone that they were looking to to go. No, maybe we'll get this guy to do it. And it was that guy that said, "No, we'll just use the original. We'll use Anthony Daniels." Sure. And wouldn't you know it? It worked. Admittedly, when you come back to this fortress another time, you end up with your weapon, and it is much much easier. And you just slaughter bitches. Yes. Every goddamn one of them. So this level is just pretty much prop hunt. Basically, you yeah. turn into a barrel. You make. You hope they don't notice you. And... Oh, I don't remember if he walks into me. Except and notices when... me. I fucking hope not. <laughs> Except if you ma if you manage to not get spotted. No, his lens is going to go through you. Except with the difference between this and prop hunt is if this, if you manage to stay hidden the whole time, it doesn't reload the. Yeah, you don't win anything. Yeah, you just don't lose. Win. Kick you back to the menu. Quick load the next map. Yeah, prop hunt's fun though. Still never really worked too well for me. Prop hunt. Yeah. yeah. Our PC could run it in fucking spades, but Ugh. I don't know why. It's just all the fucking map packs and shit. I need to what do you think about this? Strip it all out. This uh, ghetto barrel thing is going. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Yeah. Wiggle. <laughs> uh, yep, I'm done with that. Now, now, I, now you need off. to shimmy across the wall. I will admit, this has got some pretty cute animations. Oh yeah. Yeah. You should see his death very, animations. This is came really out cute. in 2005. Uh, I think it might have actually been 2003 or 2004. Yeah, that makes sense. Actually, I've got the cover. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah. Yeah. I got other discs on. Hang on. There you go. Yeah. It's uh, it's on there. Where? I don't. Know. But I remember when it first, like when they first showed um, concept yes, for it. That would be. Cell, 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 uh, bleh, fuck. Cell shaded. Um, everyone lost their goddamn mind. Mm -hmm. so, oh my god! What are you doing to it? You had three D. What are you doing? Blah blah blah. But it's what. I'd say. I like the look of it. I'd say it would be um, end of two thousand and two. Because it's got 2002, 2003, Nintendo, all right, reserved. I'm giggling. Because, yeah, I'm pretty sure I got that for my 13th birthday, along with the, uh, the GameCube. <laughs> you heard the spikes or the cheer? I, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, it's just all. Da -da -da -da. Now can you kill bitches? I can. You will kill bitches. The other thing is he never loses it ever again. Actually, I'm just going to pick up his sword. <laughs> One of the things that I love about this game is that you can pick up your enemy's weapons. Good. I keep thinking that Gina, like I think it's Gina, <laughs> Gina that had that. Someone had that as a text message right, ring. The text message ring tone for a while. Now every time I hear it, I'm just gonna like check someone's phone. Oh, yep. hey, you're both right. 
Japan was released in 2002. North America, Europe, and Australia was 2003. Oh, shit. So Japan got it in December. What's that? It's just what he just said. Oh, it is what it. I said. That's why I said yeah. I reckon it was like either, oh, either the end of 2002 because it said the, bo- the back of here says 2002, 2003. Well, mid 2003. Japan got it December 13th. North America, March 24th. Europe, May uh, 2nd. Australia, May 7th. Well, I'll sleep better now. <laughs> oh, look! Do you get it back now? I thought it would be like an end game thing. Why are there so many women, though? He's sexist, that bird. <laughs> Doesn't like the men. Yeah, it's, the, uh, it's the Ice King, just collecting women. You know, one day I'm actually going to fix my GameCube. What's wrong with it? <laughs> the giant hole on the top you can see the disc through. Apart from that. It's what you get for pulling it apart and spray painting it all fucking black and doing all the shit that you did to it. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just the hole. I just need to put the... Uh, i got plexiglass out there. I can put that in there. I actually want a GameCube. Yeah, they're a good little system. I'm pissed. I had a Super Nintendo. <laughs> Don't know what happened to it. And I had Super Mario World, Super Star Wars, all the games I mentioned mm. um, in our previous recording. Yeah. I had all those titles. Been thinking about it since I mentioned it, and I don't know what's happened to the console or the games. I just know they're not in my possession anymore. Sure. My parents had a Nintendo 64. They picked up at a garage sale. They picked up Nintendo 64, Banjo Kazooie, Donkey Kong Country, blah blah blah. All these pile of games. Picked it up for probably about 50 bucks for the whole lot. Oh. And then they've come to me and they've gone, "We pick this up. What do we do with it?" And I've gone, "Like, well, it depends. Do you want to play it or do you want to sell it?" And they've gone, "Like, oh, we're gonna, you know, take it down to game traders. Just don't, don't you fucking dare." Yeah. I said, if you want to sell it, sell it as a package and put it on eBay. You'll get more for it. Mm-hmm. They did, and they ended up getting like 150 bucks, something really? like that. Something. I think it was like that, or 100 bucks. Yeah. I'm pissed at that now because I wish I'd shut my mouth and said, just fucking give it here. <laughs> yeah. Because right. now I, I want a Nintendo 64, I want a Super Nintendo, I want a GameCube. Yeah. Actually, I think my sister's still got her GameCube. I'll ask her if she wants it anymore. Um, the other thing you can do is um, the Wii will play um, GameCube games. The only problem is you actually have to own a Wii. I do. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, yeah, well Jane does, my no. missus. She has them. I refuse to pay money for them. That, that, that's what I mean. Like, you know, the, I'll, the buy, one... I'll, I'll buy everything else from Nintendo, but I'm not just... A Wii U, maybe. Because they do, like, HD renditions of these games and stuff. Yeah. There's fuck all games for the Wii U, but the ones that have been released... <laughs> they get 10% of them. They're, they're, like, they're like Disney. They're like, you know, Snow White on DVD. Wait 20 years. Yeah. We'll, well, op- we'll open the vault again, and we'll put it in HD. And, and you know, like, they made... Um, was it Ocarina of Time for the 3DS and that was you know HD graphics it looks great you know they fixed up a lot of the, the jumping things and beautiful and then you skip Majora's Mask just completely they come to Wind Waker and they release that in HD I'm pretty sure Twilight Princess came out as a HD title but I got it for the GameCube anyhow Twilight Princess mm-hmm. oh. yeah that came that was out when the Wii was out yeah it was, was, it, was it if you want to classify the Wii as HD well, 7, 720 was its max yeah. It's technicalities. That's a HD. Yeah, I know, but you know, it doesn't do proper HD, but it is HD. In the same sense as you know, lighting a cigarette with your car lighter is still technically lighting it. You're not using a flame or anything. You're using heated metal. Mm. What's wrong with that? Well, I just mean you know, you're lighting a cigarette using a lighter compared to a hot piece of metal. Probably a bad analogy, but. Say, they're both they're two different things, but they're both called lighters. Mm. Analgy. Yeah. What did I say? Analgy. Analgy. Analgesic. Analogy. <laughs> um. No, sorry, it's analgesic. You put it in your mouth. Oh, oh this guy he just not <coughs> He does he does not <coughs> shut up. The boat. Uh huh. <coughs> I was gonna say something. Fuck, forgot what it was. I know what I hate is just how they play on <laughs> people's words. Or people's th- th- thoughts. They go HD, so people think Thug full life. H- people think full HD. For me personally, anyway, you think oh full HD, and then you look at it and it's the lowest HD possible. Huh. It is HD. They haven't used the words full HD, so they're all perfectly well within their right. But it's still going. Eh. Mm-hmm. You know, really, you compare a 720p. You buy, you go to the fucking cheap shop and you spend 40 bucks. And you buy yourself one of them really shit LCD fucking screens what did you that think? handles that they say HD on there and it oh. only handles 720p. You put that next to a CRT TV mm-hmm. and you tell me which one's clearer. Yeah. yeah. I was like, I'm sorry, CRT TVs are still fucking good. It's just when you get to 1080p, yeah, there's a big mm. leap. Well, it's like I said with this. This on your old CRT TV is great. It looks nice, everything like that. Yeah. It still looks nice. Like, oh. We've got a, a decent sized TV. It still looks nice. 
I'm yeah, going to show you. Uh, I'm going to show you one of my buddies here. It's blown out because the TV's upscaled. It, though. Keep that in mind. Yeah, but tingle, geez. tingle. But then the you, you know, you see the HD. Oh, you see the HD okay. one, and it's fucking gorgeous. Yeah. <laughs> see, I'm waiting for you to just be like, I would make fun of you, but life already has. Easy. Yeah, you're too easy. Life, life gave you the finger long before, and he just follows me. Should I let him out or should I leave him? So that was a line. That was a line from Becca. Yeah, it's like one of the one of the first one of the season episodes of the first season of Becca. That was um, shit. I've forgotten his name. The blind black guy. Oh, Reggie. She was a diner owner, you dick. Oh. Um, Denise. Oh shit. <laughs> Stevie Wonder. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think he played the piano at all. Right, Charles. No, you're the keyboard. Well, there's um, no switch there. <laughs> <laughs> Guess I can't let you out, buddy. <laughs> No. Whatever, <laughs> whatever it was, going, whatever the dude's name was, the black guy just, the black guy was sitting there at the bench, and, and Jake, that was it. And Beck is sitting there reading the paper, and he goes like, Jake, you know what I'm doing, I'm doing right now? And Jake's going, what? He goes, I'm giving you the finger. When he's not, he's just reading the paper. And Jake's answer is, I'd like, <laughs> Becca, uh, no, John, I'm black, blind, and I'm running a news, running a newsstand in a shitty diner. God gave me the finger long before you ever did. <laughs> Oh, thank God, I, uh, I didn't skip past that. I don't want one of those moments. Did you understand all that? No. Fuck. Oh, with the owl. Well, allow me to begin from, start from the beginning again. Welcome to our Pokemon Center. Fuck. We believe oh, no. the universe began at a, at a singularity. It's even got an arrow to tell me which way to go. Huh. Morrowind didn't have that. <laughs> Fucking a lot again. And I'm trying to remember the ones that, like, at the time, they th you think that they're going to be really memorable games because they've pissed you off so much. Because, just of the simple reason, they don't tell you what direction to go. Yeah. So it's trial and error to try and find your way. But then go forward two, three years, you can't remember those games. I'm finding that with Destiny. For me. Want to play mm. Destiny? It doesn't have a map. No. That's annoying. Because I'm looking for all the golden chests and it says, oh yeah, it's near this place. I'm like, where the fuck is this place? So I'm having to go through random missions to try and find my map. That's your problem. That's your problem. I know. Does Should it have to be? Does it fuck you up when it comes time to do missions? Well, no, because it's all just go here, go here, go here. Yeah. The waypoint. That's it. I still like that. I'm too used to RPG. Right to, right to the owners. <laughs> Dear Square Enix. This one I can change. You jerks. <laughs> Dear <laughs> butt faces. Yeah, yeah, yeah right, so right that. Dear Square Enix. Destiny doesn't have a map. <laughs> <laughs> Tell Bungie to fix it. You're sincerely. Yeah, they list. They'll listen to you. Yeah. And then you put that picture of Homer Simpson devouring a cake. <laughs> <laughs> that one that he put on his uni thing. Yeah. Do you have to go through that? Yeah, yeah. No, you don't. Uh, yeah. If you do this, you see these barrels that pop up. Oh. If you go through, you that's one. Yeah. Right. And the more of these you do, the more money you get. So yeah. like they'll increase in size. Okay. I increase in size. <laughs> I'll tell you hit a cutscene. Go on six to midnight. Are you? I'll hit your cutscene. There! Can we just have a little intro of uh, Jurassic Park there? What? There! there. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Life will not be contained. <laughs> We're gonna get sued. Yeah. Uh, I believe it would be a homage. An Lo homage. Yeah. Homage to one. <laughs> Alright, alright. I almost forgot enjoy... the stick I've been carrying! What? I do enjoy Jeff Goldblum. Everyone in does. Jurassic Park. He's good. Not Everyone so, enjoys so... Jeff Goldblum way for us. Not so much in, um... What? <laughs> that was just your Christopher Walken voice sped up. No! <laughs> Don't do voices. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, go watch Seth's Cavalcade of Cartoon Comedy and you'll get Jeff Goldblum way for us. What is it? Seth's Cavalcade Cav 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 of Cartoon Comedy. Yeah. Cavalcade of Cartoon Comedy. And I love alliteration. I keep getting conf like, I keep forgetting the name because there's too many fucking C's in it, but... Oh. Cavalcade of Cartoon Comedy. I'm gonna look that up. It just does I've not I've seen try. it before. But... Sounds like a... Play that, play that song from Slipknot. No, uh, give me a second. I'll have to put it in 6-6 six, six timing. What? Oh, well, you've got 4-4 four, four timing. I oh, know it. 6-4 six, six, four four. timing. Oh, God. Here we go. Oh, okay. Hang on. Uh, I'll, I'll equip it in a second. He's just got to brandish it in the air for no reason. I've got to break the fourth wall by showing you what you helped me get. Okay. Excuse me, I need to think Slipknot song. I tried. 
That was terrible. You got three nights out of it. Yeah. It's six four timing, it's not the fastest. <laughs> come back, come back. Where's he actually stop for? Look yeah. at the painting on the side <laughs> of the thing. He looks like a creep. <laughs> well just on there. Jesus. Yep, he's a creep. Oh, it's, Ray Ray shirt here, oh. it? it's Ray Romano. <laughs> <laughs> My career writing for the newspaper didn't take off. <laughs> Deborah! <laughs> I was just about to do it. Don't do voices. Uh, I had to do that one. Thank yeah. you. It's nowhere near like him. But... No. It's still funny either way. 